So Lithuania wants to be the new hub for fintech in Eastern Europe. How do you plan to achieve that? Lithuania is already a fintech hub, not only in Eastern, but also in southern part of, of the Europe. And uh, here at this conference, we're going to share our experience, how we managed to do this. And uh, the principle is very simple. Uh, when we talk about fintech, we talk about simplicity, we talk about uh, efficiency, effectiveness, and quick decisions. So in Lithuania, we do this in many areas, and uh, fintech is our success story. Last week, your government announced uh, a collaboration with the Hyperledger project that develops uh, standards for blockchain. Uh, could you tell us what's behind this move? Yeah, so blockchain is a very promising uh, technology which can be used in many areas, not only financial services, but in all kinds of registers, transactions, etc. And uh, in the same way, we are considering uh, to introduce it widely to public service as well. And don't you uh, worry about the risks associated with the volatility behind bitcoins, for example? Yeah, of course, risks are everywhere. You cannot even marry without risks. And, but of course, we cannot ignore uh, this new phenomenon of uh, cryptocurrencies. And uh, we do believe that this area should be regulated. And oh, it, of course, in Lithuania, we uh, consider national regulation, but also the European Commission is considering the issue uh, uh, kind of regulations in this area as well. So the regulation should come first from the EU level, not the G20 level? Uh, so it, it doesn't matter who is the first to initiate, but uh, I'm happy that uh, uh, policymakers are start started to uh, discuss this issue and I do believe uh, uh, this solution should be at global level. Another uh, attractive uh, point for Lithuania is the very low corporate tax. It's at 15 percent. You know that France and Germany uh, want to uh, find a way to align their corporate tax to around 25 percent. What does that mean for Lithuania? Would you be ready to actually raise your corporate tax uh, for the sake of fiscal harmonization in the EU? Yeah, so uh, talking about, uh, first of all, about the convergence between different countries. Uh, so for Lithuania, it's very important to attract uh, investments into productive sectors. Uh, we have not only one of the lowest uh, profit tax rates, but also we have the best package at EU level for recession de development, for uh, innovations, for new technologies, for commercialization of activities. And therefore, to lose this competitive advantage for us, uh, of course, we wouldn't be happy uh, in saying in a polite way, and I don't believe that there will be consensus on, on that topic. So you think uh, corporate tax harmonization uh, is not the priority, or, or should we have two speeds, uh, one with a lower corporate tax like Lithuania or uh, Ireland, and then France and Germany at 25 percent? Is that your view? I think we should uh, focus on uh, principles, on subsidiarity principle, and uh, uh, EU is not harmonized to such a level that we can speak about harmonization of profit tax. Maybe this uh, question can be raised in, in the future, but uh, uh, as for now, uh, I don't see uh, much room for discussions in this area.